Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to Miss Mood's Motivational Monday. Yay! <laughs> I hope you had a wonderful week. I've missed you guys and I had a wonderful week. Thank you. Um, it's been very motivational and informative and you know, I always want to come back and bring y'all some lesson that I learned that would enhance my growth, my involvement, my motivation to keep on keeping on, keep breathing, um, to keep motivating myself to reach and manifest the things that I desire. Um, and I'm so happy to be able to bring y'all on this journey. So, um, I would definitely love to hear about your comments of your week, anything that you felt like you needed to be motivated about or how you motivated yourself. I hope you guys followed the high vibe cards, which I'm going to be doing today. Um, and it's actually going to be two cards today because the theme for my video is two for one special. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there's many different ways to talk about it um, when I grew up in the south I always used to hear the elders say you know you could kill two birds with one stone and I used to be like you know what but I learned what it meant and then when I had kids I started using the same saying and one of my daughters said mom why every time y'all have like some metaphor in the south it sounds like you're killing animals and I was like girl but she's so right so I like two for one special better okay so last week yeah last week because today's uh motivational Monday when you see it but I'm recording this Sunday evening just because I want you guys to have it come Monday because I love you guys so much and I could not wait to share my story, share my experience, share my growth, and hope that it helps someone. So as promised, this is not going to be a long video like the first one. It was just for me to reintroduce myself because I was new to YouTube as a video um, influencer. Uh, <clears throat> now it's, it's going to be much short. So let's get to it. Last week, remember, I discussed in my video, if you watched the whole thing, that I was frustrated and that's what led me to start the motivational Mondays, Miss Moods Motivational Mondays, because I was frustrated with the trucking business and I felt stuck, right? And sometimes when you're pursuing a dream or a desire or a goal, you feel stuck. And so what you do, I explained in my last video, reintroduce yourself to things that make you happy. And, um, that's what I did. I basically realized or came to an understanding of uh, self-awareness. Um, my higher self, source, God, whatever you want to call it, basically showed me that why don't you go do something that could benefit humanity, benefit other people other than yourself. And one of the things that you're really good at is being able to motivate yourself, motivate others. I find that I have lived a life where people always come to me for advice and I always try my best to give them the best advice possible as if I was in their shoes because me being an empath, I, I can relate on so many different levels. So <clears throat> during the time that I did this video and I shared and I became transparent and um, I was really happy that I succeeded. Although a lot of you don't know is that it's not easy to get on video, at least for me, um, and, and, and share my experiences or even just be present, right? Because we always are so concerned with what other people think and what other people might say and even self-doubt talk, talk ourselves out of something that could be so not only beneficial to yourself but to other people. And so I didn't let that happen. I'm one of those, let's jump. I know that God got me. I know that source is going to catch me. I'm going to manifest something catching me. How about that? And it, it always pans out that way. So by me doing that, just being excited about being motivated about an impulse that I felt was beneficial not only so much to myself but for others 
um, and me taking the time out to do it was a way for me to give back, you know, my vibes, my energy, because I want other people to succeed. I want you to succeed. I want you to feel motivated. I want you to feel empowered. I want you to feel liberated. I want you to feel like you have somebody in your corner that even if y'all didn't meet by a person, you know that they're cheerleading for you to keep going. And by the way, um, <clears throat> to those of you, if nobody told you today or recently that they love you, I want you to know that I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you nothing but success. I wish you nothing but wisdom and knowledge. I wish you nothing but great things that are coming your way for you to actually be in a position to receive them. And how do you receive them? I'm glad you asked. You receive them by doing the things that you love doing. That was the message for me. And how it came about was by me just doing this video acting on impulse you know i asked the question to the universe i identified with the uneasy feeling in my stomach and i i began to just go about my life and in the midst of helping someone personally i got a revelation to help many beautiful beautiful i hope you caught that and so by me doing that um i basically got the impression that hey if you could do this for Miss Moves Motivational Monday, then you could do this for Mood Truck and Dispatching. And I was like, oh, I could. It only just takes a few minutes to upload a quick Instagram feed of something about my business that I'm doing for the day or how I feel for the day or just good morning, you know, just doing it. I mean, your motivation could should never be getting other people's attention, so to speak. It should be, I'm doing this because I'm doing something that I love to do. I created something. And by my creation, I now want to share it, right? Now, my trucking business is something that I did because I want to help people. And once I got to learn more about the trucking business, I realized that, let's really be honest, how many of you order stuff online? How many of you expect your packages? How many of you um, want to be able to send packages, depend on your food or your groceries like myself that get delivered to your house on a weekly or bi-weekly basis? So, you know, we really do depend on the trucking industry to benefit our livelihood and it helps our community. It provides jobs, good pay. It's a lucrative business, but it's also a business where people depend on each other and inspire each other and help each other, whether it, th it be through work or networking or just, you know, for instance, like a trucking, a trucker. They can show up at your house with your packages and say hi to you or have a good day. And maybe nobody else did that. Maybe nobody even speaks to you half the time, right? Um, you're not getting any visitors coming to your home because your circle is small and that's okay. But somebody in the trucking field recognized you because they had to, it took that package to make that connection of just to tell you have a great day. Um, it took you scramming through YouTube and coming across a motivational video like mine's and many others to get motivated and have somebody say, I love you. I'm wishing you the best. And I'm not just saying that because what benefit do I get by saying it? None, right? It's all for you. It's all for you, right? So... That was my two for one special, being able to recognize the same issue that I had with my trucking business, why I felt stuck, how can I be more creative. I was inspired to be creative by creating a whole new channel that has nothing to do with trucking. 
and speaking to the people, speaking to you beautiful souls, uplifting you, encouraging you just by a click of a button and just sharing my experience, you know, um, me walking outside, me, um, we have a new moon coming up, the Lion's Portal Gate, if any of you is into that, go research it or in Google. Um, you know, we're about to go through another season and I'm just expecting all these great things that are happening. I bought my outfit for the white gala for my trucking business. Um, I bought actually five. <laughs> I get, you know, I couldn't make up my mind. And, you know, even in that, I was like, I don't know. And I felt like my inner voice was saying, just pick what you like, what you're happy with. And I was like, right, right, right. So even though I'm encouraging you guys, even though I'm speaking to you guys about doing things that motivate yourself so that where other areas that you're stuck, I'm telling you, somehow, some way, answers are revealed. Um, you know, ideas are created. Uh, opportunities come across your path. People come across your path because you're just enjoying life exactly where you are and indulging indulge when i say indulge i mean indulge if you don't make you happy first how can you be happy with anybody else right so let's it's it's 11 it's 11 minutes in as much as i love you guys i don't want to keep you i just want to motivate you um continue to keep tuning in to miss mood's motivational monday i appreciate each and every one of you comments i appreciate your love i appreciate your views good and bad comments because it all works out well for me so the fact that you're even speaking i appreciate it um and so let's get to it. You know, I have the goodies. <laughs> I have the goodies. I have um, the high vibe cards that I used last week. And because I got a two for one on continue this, continue Miss Moves Motivational Mondays. But I'm definitely going to be putting more content and creativity and mood truck and dispatching services. Um, I really appreciate my mentor, Johnique Taylor. She, her website is thequeenoftrucking.com. Please check her out. Um, she has been such a blessing. Let me tell you, because last week she sent me a webinar to score and it was this guy named, um, oh my God, what's his name? All the things I write down, Raymond. I'm going to put the link in my uh, comment box, um, description box below so that you can have a link to his Facebook page. But he he really, I think that's when I got the, um, the download of start creating content and engaging with my viewers more um, with the experiences that I go through with this trucking business. Um, as so I paid for my ticket to travel. I paid for my hotel. I am on my way to a beautiful all white gala that my mentor Johnny uh, Taylor is um, putting together. And all walks of life that deal with transportation, networking, and so forth is going to be there. And you know what? I have no expectations. I'm just excited to go. I'm excited to be a part of what I created. And I have a platform to go and present my, my creation to the world. Um, to network, to engage, to meet people and you know a lot of times we talk about how we want to be business owners and you know we want to do stuff but then you know when it comes time to show your face or come out of your comfort zone and do things that you normally don't do you you freeze up and it's like you're fighting against the resistance you're you're resisting you're not fighting against the resistance you're fighting against the flow by being resistant thank you i love when 
I get a download to how to speak correctly. Um, but you, you shouldn't do that, you know? Take on the opportunity. Like it's a, a new ride, a new canvas for you to paint. Remember I told you about white. Um, you know, this is an opportunity for you to create your experience while you're creating your business, while you're creating your new idea, while you're creating a, a new opportunity, whether it be for yourself or for others, but more than likely anything you create for yourself, usually you create for others. And, and that's just what makes the world go round. For everyone to experience something that you leave behind, something that you created as a legacy. And you know, when you start talking like that, you might as well get your whole foot wet. Don't just dip your toe in it. Um, and, and just really trust that if you got the expansion to no longer want to work a nine to five, but to really want to, you know, indulge in the entrepreneurship, I advise you if you're interested in trucking, you know, come check me out on Facebook, go look up my website, mood dash, um, dispatching dot com. You can, um, go on Facebook and reach out to me there. And if you just want to say hi and, you know, you're, you had something encouraging that happened to you or motivated you, or you motivated, some, motivated someone else, um, let me know in, in the comment box. I would love to hear, you know, that you're doing something just like I'm doing something and not complaining and not you know, feeling frustrated with life, you know, you're doing things to create your happiness by doing things that you are happy doing. And by doing that, I'm telling you, the ideas will flow, the manifestations will flow, the people will come, the groups will just appear, the roads will just appear, you know, which way am I supposed to go, all is well. Everything is happening for me to succeed because that was the whole point of you coming into this world was so that you could create an experience and share it with others so they can create experiences with you. Anyways, let's get to it. <clears throat> and thank you again, guys, for tuning in to Miss Moo's Motivational Monday. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for this. I ask that you give us a good word for the week, a good motivation for the week. To my ancestors and angels, Ashe. All right, let me shuffle them. All right, let's see what this is. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh my God. <laughs> Every time I come to you guys, I just know spirit is around us. Um, this is the card that I got. I hope y'all can see it. Humanity. Humanity. Two for one special, right? So that's the first one. I'm going to shuffle one more time to get um, another card because I did tell y'all I was going to do two cards for the two for one special. I didn't forget. Um, <clears throat> all right. Thank you, Sarah. Give us one more motivation. Two for one special. Come on. What I say? Body movement. Okay, so let me read the first one. The first one says, oh, let me put my glasses on because y'all know I be staring at um, computer screens all day and <laughs> with glasses on and it's, you know, my eyes are getting better, but I'm going to use my glasses and not try to strain myself. I'm going to use my tools. Okay, use your tools. Uh, humanity, step away from electronics. No cell phone, no video games, no nothing. Just be human. Just be human. Yes, in order to be creative, you got to step away from electronics. You got to step away from other people. Um, sometimes you need to just be by yourself and meditate, right? Um, be one with self. You know, in my meditations, I sit with source. I swear. And I just put some the air conditioner on where the air conditioner's been on because it's been crazy humid. But <clears throat> I'll usually put like water in the background for listening. And the way I was taught was to just 
lay in my bed. I don't even sit because it's not comfortable for me. I like to have the pillows behind me and I like to be able to, you know, just be quiet, not thinking about anything. And it feels so good to just not have to think about anything, not have to be anywhere. And just love that I'm loved. Know that I'm loved. Being with Source, knowing where I come from. And just being appreciative of that moment. And I find myself being in meditation for about 15, 20 minutes. And now, you know, in the beginning, it was a little crazy, like trying to get tuned into that, forcing it. And I just started to listen to my body. Do I want to lay down? Do I want to sit up? Do I want music? Do I don't want no music? Do I want AC? And sometimes it's different, but there's no electronics. My phone is turned off. You know, my kids are quiet or sleep. Um, it's just me and quietness early in the morning. And it feels really good to just have that time with myself, knowing that I'm loved, that I'm having a great day, that I'm being balanced. I'm not really even thinking about anything because I don't owe anybody anything. I don't, I'm not, it's none of that. It's just me, just me and Source, right? So I encourage you guys, no video games, no cell phones, um, no nothing. Just be human. Just be human, right? There's no list of things to do as a mom, as a single mom. You know, you always got lists. No, I need to cut this time out for me, myself, and I, right? Just be human. And then the other one is, um, again, body movement, right? Body movement. It says moving your body, dissipate, I'm sorry, can't read. Moving your body dissipates um, stagnant energy and increases your vibration. So walking, run, swim, dance, any type of movement, just do it. My daughter was singing this morning um, while I was cooking breakfast and she was just singing the same song. It's from Stranger Things, um, the series, and it's called Right Up the Hill or something like that by Kate Bush. And I love the song because of hearing her go over and over again. She's into this karaoke thing. She's seven years old, but she's such a beautiful angel, okay? And her spirit and her vibration always keeps me like looking at the bright side of things, no matter what I'm faced with. And so she was singing this song over and over again. And I realized after breakfast that um, she was using the words on the TV to sing it. You know, that's how come she knew the words so well. And I was like, oh, that's how you were singing it. And she started laughing it, and then she wound up playing it. So I was like, oh, my God. So then she puts it on, and she's, like, quick to do a cartwheel, quick to start spinning around dancing. And I chose to get up and dance with my daughter in circles, you know. And it was a beautiful moment because we don't do those things every day. At least I don't. I have so many other things to do. But in that moment... Look, two for one. No video games, no nothing, and movement. And that's what I did this morning. You see how those downloads come? Like, all this was happening for me so I can implore you to do the same thing, right? Encourage you, motivate you to do the same thing, right? Body movement. Sorry. Hum hum <laughs> Humanity and body movement, right? Being human with body movement and so me and her were just dancing and twirling around she's doing cartwheels and it lasted about five minutes but it was such a blissful five minutes such a blissful five minutes and in those five minutes all I kept thinking about was I'm happy and I can't wait to motivate somebody else to be happy motivate someone else and encourage someone else through my experience how to be happy so i encourage you guys this week to continue to keep tuning in 
to Miss Mood's Motivational Mondays. And I wish you guys a beautiful week. Stay motivated. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload another video, which is most of the time always on a Monday. And I want you guys to just set the tone, like I told you in the first video. Set the tone for this week. Movement. Take some time for self to be just human and not under someone's rules or policies at work, your, your home life, your friend's life, your social life, or whatever's on social media. Turn it off. Just be human. Go do a cartwheel. Go dance around, spin around. Go listen to some music. Just something that you love doing. And I promise you, I promise you, you're going to feel that happy bliss. And it's just going to help with those downloads and encourage you or that impulse to lead you to the next good thing, right? And you'll start to see your life come together a lot better just by being in that vibration of happiness so that you could receive those happy things that you already said you desire or manifested, right? Until next time, until next Monday, Ashe, Namaste. I love you guys. Be blessed, beautiful souls. Miss Moves Motivational Monday. Tune in next time. I love you. Bye.